Hi guys, um, welcome back to our channel and also welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Yeah, we actually made it seven days in already so it's going quite well so far i hope it's um a little bit interesting for you guys i'm um, currently we're just having some coffee and a little rest and we also wanted to show you what we just got because i don't know if you know about this or if you have anything in your country but in germany on 6th of december which is today it's saint nicolaus day and it's not santa claus even though you have a different opinion about this. Um, Nicholas is actually a real life um, person um, and he was a bishop a long time ago. So it's his day and we have this tradition with the children that um, the night before on the 5th of December you put out some boots in front of the house and then during the night, St. Nicholas comes and fills up your boots with some sweets and stuff. <laughs> it's actually a really fun tradition, I think. So, so yeah, I thought it would be fun to try that as well. Um, so I made him put out um, some boots yesterday. <laughs> had one of mine and one of his boots and this morning he went to have a look what's inside That was good. It's a, it, a Weihnachts miracle. <laughs> so Aww. I found some like they're called they're called knoppers, but they're like wafery chocolatey biscuity things. And then also some kind of like shortbready stuff in my boot. Shortbread? No, it's kind of like shortbread. No, it's isn't like it? a Christmas biscuit. No, a Christmas biscuit. It's Spritzgebäck for all the people who speak German. I just thought as well that this, because we don't have this tradition in England, it could be similar to, you know, when you put the um, the little stockings the stocking. by the fire, yeah, by the fireplace. I think that's something similar. I think so, but the stockings you usually do for Christmas Day, don't you? But as far as I'm aware, um, we don't actually do stockings in Germany. So maybe that's like a replacement tradition. But we do it for Nikolaus Day, which is not related to Christmas. Or, well, it's related to Christmas, but Nikolaus is not related to Santa Claus. It's a completely different person and it's a like, completely different day. Because like his name day today. Do you, not, do you not have that where um, you have a name day for all of the saints? And yeah, then it's like if anyone's related to Nikolaus, like Niklas or Nikolaus or Nikola, then it's their name day today for that same. No, no, we don't. We don't have name day. We have like uh, St. Patrick's Day, St. David's Day, St. George's Day. Yeah. So if your name was George, that would be your name day. No, we don't do name day. Yeah. Well, we don't really celebrate it. I don't <laughs> know when mine is, so. That's how much uh, we celebrate it. I think um, some people do, but it's not really that big of a thing. But it does exist, so. They have some crazy German traditions. In England, you have, if you're naughty, you have coal. So you can have presents or coal on what part of Santa's list you are. I think that's actually also something that the kids get threatened with here for St. Nicholas. I think if you're not behaving, you get put <clears throat> Coals mm. instead of sweets in your boots, so you need to be a good kid. But they have a thing called Krampus as well. But it's not everywhere in Germany, it's just in Bavaria. But it's crazy. So you know all the old grim fairy tales where they're children's books and children's stories, but they're really dark and twisted and horrible. This is the same kind of thing. It's basically like a monster devil thing, 
that I think it's for the naughty kids or something. I don't know what he does, but he comes and. Well, we do um, the Krampus one. We actually have in Bavaria only, but in the rest of Germany and here, and what I had when I was a child was um, called Knecht Ruprecht. Funnily enough, on the German version of The Simpsons, the dog's name is Knecht Ruprecht. Oh yeah, Santa's little helper. Yeah, okay. But it's not a little helper, it's like the bad guy that comes for the bad kids and he has this like, uh, this thing made out of wood to like hit the kids. So it's like, you, you really need to be behaving. I feel like I remember when I was like five or six years old, we had Santa coming um, to our house. And then, you know, when the parents like tell something about the children and what they've been up to in the past year. And then he has like this book that he reads to you from and I feel like um, a couple of times when Santa came to our house they also had Knecht Ruprecht come with him and it was like um, a person dressed up in all black and he had like this um, like a few wooden sticks like tied together to make like this thing so if you're like, if you would be naughty, he would like hit you. Like no one actually gets hit, they just threaten you with it to make the kids behave all nicely. <laughs> so if you're a naughty kid in England, you get coal in your stocking. But if you're a naughty kid at Christmas in Germany, you get hit with pieces of wood. <laughs> well, that's... that may be why all the kids are all disciplined. <laughs> so here everyone's all about rules and stuff. Because you're scared when yeah, you... Yeah, German efficiency. Yeah. <laughs> they tell you right from the beginning when you're a child to behave, but otherwise <laughs> you're going to be in trouble. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so another thing actually, um, talking about Christmas traditions, that's very different from Christmas in Germany to Christmas in England, um, funnily enough, because I thought it's only like America, which is far, far away, is that the way we celebrate um, Christmas here is that on Christmas Eve we have some nice fancy dinner with the family or let's say it would be normally if it's like a family with kids it would be the parents and the kids celebrating together on Christmas Eve and then you have some dinner and maybe sing some Christmas songs or something like that and then after dinner you get to open the presents on Christmas Eve whereas in England they do it the same way as in America and open the presents on Christmas Day morning. So that's very different. Mm-hmm. That's what we'll be doing. Yeah, I'm actually spending Christmas in England this year, so I need to wait half a day extra to get some presents and to be allowed to open them. Yeah, and you just celebrate like on Christmas Day morning and then for lunch, kind of lunch mm -hmm. afternoon thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the way we do it on Christmas Day is then, since the like close family has already celebrated Christmas on Christmas Eve, um, on Christmas Day is normally one of the days where then you'd go to the grandparents and spend like some time with the grandparents, probably for lunch. And since ideally people have two um, sets of grandparents, you have um, Christmas Day and spend that with one part of the family and one pair of grandparents and then Boxing Day would be the second Christmas day we actually call it first Christmas day and second Christmas day so Boxing Day would be the day where you spend um, dinner time with the other grandparents so that's how we do it mm. but you only really do like one full day I think in, if I remember correctly in Italy you also do um, Christmas day presents I'm not mm. sure about the rest. I would assume that like um, our neighbor countries like Austria and Switzerland, I'm not sure about France, but that they would do it um, the same way we do for Christmas Eve. I don't know. If you're from any of those countries, let us know in the comments when you open your presents or just let us know anyway. Like what's your Christmas tradition in your country and when do you open the presents? Yeah, especially if you have some of those crazy traditions that are only either from your part of the country or just your country that no one else does. That's quite interesting. Yeah, let us mm. know as well if you do anything like um, Knecht Ruprecht or Campus or if you had any of those things happening when you were a child. Mm.
That would be quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that's it for now. If we do anything super exciting the rest of the day, um, we're gonna let you know. But if not, then we're just gonna say goodbye and see you tomorrow. All right. Same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, I actually have a quick edit to make um, to the video before because Nicholas came around a bit late again today and just brought this over. I'm very excited because it's my favorite. It's um, Kinder Chocolate. I'm not sure if you know. Let me just show you. So it's a Kinder Santa Claus and some other extra Kinder Chocolate inside. And if you don't know Kinder, um, that's what the surprise eggs, Kinder surprise eggs are made from. So that's going to have the same chocolate as the surprise egg chocolate. So it's milk chocolate outside and white chocolate inside. It's just going to be so good. I'm so excited. That's all I wanted to say. Just a little extra Nicolas Day treat for both of us. Mm.